Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Leo weekly money and career reading from July 18th to July 24th, 2022. Leo, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have going forward in this upcoming week. What energies are coming in? What is pushing you forward? Wow. Okay, let's take these already. Lots of amazing cards. Okay, you're leaving something behind. The decision, the time has come to just let it go. Let those emotions go. Let the, that situation go, whether it's a job situation, an emotional situation in a job, in a prospect, in a, in a business. Or just in your mind, you're ready. In your mind, you're ready to start new. This is a new adventure. This is a complete, fresh new adventure. A new idea, maybe you're starting to develop a new idea or you're working on a project on a new idea with a company or with a, uh, a team of people. Uh, whatever it is, it's, it's a new direction. It seems like it's innovative. It's a, it's, it, it can be a product you are working on or an idea you're working on in a company. Something different. Uh, I don't know why I'm feeling tech, tech idea, tech, tech development, um, IT, but it's, it's not IT. It is, um, or it can be IT. Okay. Um, it's something you're developing, um, that is very important in your field, very important in the development of your field, whatever your field is in, it can be IT, it can be tech, it can be Okay, intelligence, right? It, it, it can be intelligence. I don't know why I'm getting that. Whatever it is, it's refreshing for you. So maybe you're starting in a new job, in a, with a new team, in a new company. Maybe you're moving. You, maybe you're moving countries or moving cities, developing a new idea. It seems like it's very important, a team of people, a lot of people engaging um, but it's it's maybe a lot of young people. It's it's fresh energies. It's young energies. Um, it's a lot of enthusiasm to push forward, and uh, it's new. Um, it it's it's everyone is inspired, and you are inspired in this new objective. It really feels like a new objective. It's look at this. You have the Ace of Wands, new beginning. Um, and, and it's it's that dynamic of a creation, that dynamic of a new beginning, creating something, action forward, action forward in building this new idea for the world internationally. It seems like it's really big. Comment down below. Let me know if you connect with this. And it's it's not for everyone, right? But um this this can be just for one specific person or but if it's not that it's really you letting go letting go emotionally the situation that no longer was serving you that was difficult you're leaving a lot behind but you're entering something so dynamic new job new business new opportunity it is a new adventure believe in yourself leo believe in yourself the fool it is all new all new and, you know, the fool is there to say it is all about freedom, freedom of a new start, freedom and an independence, financial independence. You are taking the decision to go on your own adventure, your thing, independent from anybody that says anything that maybe has prevented you to do your own thing, prevented you to move to another country and start a new career, or prevented you to start a job, a different type of job, something you've never done before, I, you know, or something that is true to you, right? Refreshing. That's something you really want to do. It's exciting. It's very exciting. It's, it's very, it's a lot about spontaneity. I don't know why. Maybe it's something last minute that you're actually wanting to step up to. Maybe you're stepping up to a new role and it's something that you really hadn't imagined before and something really important for you now, right now in the moment that you're starting. Wow, 
very dynamic, very passionate. And yes, because you have left things behind and accepted that this is going to be completely new. And it's that learning, learning to trust yourself, the universe, right? Listening to your intuition, really having faith in yourself as you engage with this new life. And the more you surrender to the now, right? The more that potential you allow into your path. This is something you're experiencing for the first time, opening up to the world opening up to the world around you, knowing that this is com going to be a new adventure, completely new. Now, I said intelligence, I said IT. Obviously, if you can't communicate, you can't share, do not share, or just leave a heart down below if this is something you connect with and you cannot share. Yes, wow, wow. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, The Fool. What an amazing new adventure. So if you were doubting, um, if you were doubting, Leo, now's the time. Go for it. This is an amazing financial opportunity, but also a new career. So you, it seems like you're making more money on this. And it's so refreshing. This is like a whole new ball game, and you have new, new people. New people. Um, you're excited. You're excited about this. Yes, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of planning. It's um, um, step by step. It's not something, sorry for the noise. <clears throat> it's really step by step. Um, almost like you're gonna gain money step by step, a little more, a little more. So for example, you could have a contract where you have a certain salary when you start and then something that, you know, and then you'll get a, a raise in, in, a, in a year and another raise in two years and three years, something like that. It feels like it's like step by step contract. Um, but it, you are gonna, you, you are stepping into a role here, Knight of Pentacles, but it's, it's very dynamic. But the job is very meticulous, very strategic. You have to plan it out. You have to methodically um, organize yourself and methodically work your way into this situation, into this career, into this job, you know, really taking the time to, uh, to work um, a very, uh, to, to really get your hands dirty in this and, 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 um, um, go all in. It's like you're going all in. This is not superficial. This is a job that demands a lot of patience and a lot of hard work. But wow, what a reading, uh, Leo. This is like, yes, opening up to the world. This is something international. Now, it doesn't have to be. If this doesn't speak to you, this can be completely a new job. Would you're opening up to a new environment, right? And you can be remaining in the same city. It's just a different, fresh air, fresh people, different, different, fresh people. Sorry. But it's like different. It's different. But for anybody that has been applying or trying to get a job internationally, trying to um, apply to a big project internationally, something intelligence, something IT, something logistics within the world, something important. This is really, really um, something that you're planning, seeing the world, planning for the future, seeing the future and really opening up to the world, traveling traveling as well wow three aces leo is it you that had three aces three aces last week the past week i'll have to check that out i'm not quite sure but oh my i mean this is just a complete new path new direction uh fantastic intelligence fantastic you are sharp you are focused and and very good at what you do but it's 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 very high it's almost like highly intellectual Wow, it is a milestone. You are celebrating. So you might be celebrating getting this new job. You might be celebrating getting this promotion um, internationally. Now you're traveling. Now you're going to work with different countries, develop projects with different countries or different ramifications around the world. This is very complex. Uh, I don't know where I'm getting this, but if you are connecting with this, is this something that you connect with? Please comment down below. And if you can't comment, just leave a heart, as I said before. Queen of Pentacles, yes. 
trusting yourself. You, People trust you as well. They trust you in this role. They trust you in this um, new situation, new development, international development. It's very powerful. Um, four of, four of um, swords, take the time. If it gets overwhelming, because it seems a lot, because, but a lot in a fantastic way, a lot in a very positive way, but it's big, it's bold, it's something important out in the world. So uh, forever I'm, for whoever I'm reading for in this international situation, take a step back if it gets overwhelming. Realign yourself, you know, um, meditate or just take a pause. Go in nature or, or go run or listen to music or write or read or, or just, you know, go hit the gym or whatever, whatever works for you to calm your energies and uh, reconnect with your energies to keep that maturity and that calmness at all times for your decisions, right? Make sure your decisions are based are always taken in a calmly manner, in a mature manner, so you can move forward in this very vast and very big uh, responsibility that you have. Now, if it's not something international, traveling the world, developing something in the world, it is really something that you're starting, very important, um, a new job, a new business, a new project that you're developing that is very, it's fascinating. So let me know exactly what you're, what you're um, working on. Um, it's beautiful. Three aces and the fool. Complete new adventure. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. All right. Let's see if there are a few more messages that want to come out in the second deck. Leo weekly money and career Fa fascinating reading please comment down below if you can if you connect yes more money stability financial stability long-term financial stability for your family for you it is harmony it is balance it is balance and money coming in um I really feel like you're letting something behind you're leaving a something big behind you're ready it's okay. You, you're emotionally ready. You know this is coming. You know you're pushing forward, but it is big to leave behind. So that's what I'm saying. If you're leaving, you know, one country for another or one city for another or one really career for another or one project for another, it's really leaving a lot behind, but a lot of um, disappointing uh, emotions behind. This is going straight into positive, beautiful positive energies beautiful positive um uh emotions pushing forward uh it's exciting you're you're getting your mojo back if you if you had a moment where it was difficult right you're getting your dynamic back and you're really it's a sense of freedom for you this decision or this this situation is a sense of freedom for you. Yes, maybe you're going back home to start something. Maybe you're going back to, seems like you have a, a moment of nostalgia. So maybe you're going back home to develop something. Or maybe you're going back to that career that you love so much. Or maybe you're back, going back to that base that you love so much, right? And developing something. Or, you know, it's something, it, it, it is a real feeling of nostalgia of uh, that comfort zone that is important for you anxiety uh, yes of course or you or your anxiety or anxiety of the past situation don't i mean if you are you know anxious and and you have that nine of swords where it has been difficult not not surprising it's a huge transition for you but my oh my is it explosive in in, in the importance and the dynamic of what you're doing, the career, the job, the project, whatever it is, is huge. And, and so, yes, it's anxiety-driven. Yes, it's stressful. Of course it's stressful because it's new. And you have another ace. It's a new beginning. It's a new direction. So new directions are always stressful. Adapting to new is always stressful. Adapting to this new life 
this is a new life, Leo. And I, I think I've been saying this for a lot of these readings in July. I feel like the whole month of July has not only been money and career readings, but a lot about life paths, soul paths, that redirection, but as a whole, not just getting that any old job, not just getting that any old um, position you wanted, which is good, which is good. But this is like the third wave of, of soul search after the world situation, right? And this one, we had the first one, which was trying to understand what was going on. And then the second one, going back out there, trying to feel what was going on and try to understand what we had to make do with and what was out there and what was left out there and how we had to change and figure that out, that connection, try to find connection with the new, the new normal, if that makes sense. And now we have the third one, which now we know it's out there, which is not always, you know, what we thought it was, but we know, we know, we have the knowledge of the no, of the now. Right. And now, so now once we had the knowledge, then we go back to the drawing board, back to the hermit, you know, that soul search, that inner, inner, inner search to find the best solution for each and every one of us with what is out there. And so for most of us, it is time to change paths. It is time to do what we wanted to do for a long time. It is time to reinvent ourselves. It's try. It's time to turn that hobby into reality, right, into a business, or time to do that job we've always wanted to do or try, right? Everything that we've been wanting to do maybe for the past 10 or 20 or 30 years, now's the time because there's nothing to lose anymore, right? What's the worst that can happen? It doesn't work, then we shift again, right? So this is the third soul search, hitting the spot, doing your own thing, being you, empowered to be your own, right? That freedom of expression, that freedom of being yourself and connecting to your path. One, two, three, four aces. I'm not inventing this. Four aces, double the ace of swords, which is really that power powerful knowledge, that powerful clarity of what you are made of and how you are transforming this. Absolutely amazing, Leo. Let's see if there's one last card that wants to come out in this second deck. It feels nostalgic though. So are you going back to something or are you leaving that past behind? Mm, I, I think that you're going back to something. Oh, it can be because of a love relationship. Really doesn't have to be. But I, for some reason, all these readings in July are very personal, very soulful, like I said, and, and sometimes are connecting to love relationships or life relationships or, you know, family. And it's very important to understand that a lot of these energies are going back to what's important to you, going back to family, going back to country, going back to city, going back to what is, you know, familiar to you and your comfort zone and whatever you, you know, and... And sometimes it's the combination of both, of, of reinventing yourself, starting that new back in your hometown, reinventing yourself back in that home country, right? Something like that. It's absolutely fascinating. You might be partnering up with someone, but I don't think this Two of Cups is that. I think you, it's just your dynamic connecting with an entity, whether whether it's a company, whether it's family, whatever it is, you are going back to something that is very joyful, very kind, very loving, whatever that means for you, your country, your city, uh, your family, your, your friends, your, you know, whatever, your lover, whatever it is for you. But it is a fascinating, fascinating um, uh, path career path that you're taking so really comment down below let me know exactly um how it's working for you or what this represents for you fascinating all right let's see if there's one last message for the road leo there is what no okay one last message for the road yes end of I feel like there was another card that wanted to come out in the other deck I'm sorry for that but yes ten of wands the end of complete end of a cycle 
pressure. Pressure was on to make it happen. Pressure was on to make a decision. Okay, now I understand. Yes, wow. Okay, now I understand why I needed more cards. More cards wanted to come out. Yes, you're in control. You're making a very important decision. This is a huge crossroads. This is a, a long-term decision for you, for your family, whatever that represents for you. But you are in control. It is fair. It is honest. It is what you have projected to balance yourself in your career you have the knowledge you have the control um uh, maybe you went back to school for this but maybe I, I really feel like this is the higher fit is about conforming to something so this career this path this new adventure this new job whatever it is it really feels international it doesn't have to be is after you know you you are you have completed a cycle, a difficult cycle, a pressured cycle, but now you are entering something. You you have to conform to something. The Hierophant can, can be all kinds of things, but right here in this situation, I feel like it's conforming to a certain way, structuring to a certain way. So what you're entering now, this adventure you're entering now that is highly intellectual, highly focused, that's why I feel like it's something intelligence but it doesn't have to be but you you do have to conform to certain rules to certain regulations you have to be a certain way it's almost like entering the army or entering um entering um something official very official um this is not a place where you can free wheel right this is not a, a place where you can uh be uh different and think outside of the box it is freedom because you have chosen this and this is what you want to do but it feels like the it, what you're entering is very structured in other words there's hierarchy and there are rules to respect and and um it is something that you have to adapt to to push forward but you are amazing at this and this is apparently something that you really wanted to do so kudos to you uh leo this is absolutely an amazing reading um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did thank you to each and every one of you for pushing this channel all the way to 15k thank you thank you for supporting this channel and um and if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell so we can reach 20K. Uh, Leo, you have been fantastic from the get-go. You have been top three uh, signs to uh, support this channel. So thank you again to all of you. Um, and if you have just stumbled upon this channel and enjoy this reading or connected with it in what, somewhat shape or form, uh, please consider to subscribe and hit the bell. That's very important. Again, um, comment down below. Let me know what your journey is all about. If you can share it, please share it. Uh, and I wish you a fantastic week. Take care, Leo. And uh, I'll see you for the monthlies next week. Oh my, already. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.